good afternoon students and now i will show you one of the important viscera or pelvic viscera of female and that viscera is the uterus and its appendages appendages means the fallopian tubes and the ovary i will show you one by one first of all let us see the parts of the uterus and how to hold this specimen in anatomical position and uterus having three parts the uppermost part is the fundus which is solid inside no cavity and below that this part is the body and here is the one constriction then it is the cervix then what are the uh, uh, dimensions of the uterus that means what the length and breadth and thickness if you see there are 3 inches 2 inches and 1 inches that means length is 3 inches breadth is maximum breadth 2 inches and thickness is 1 inches or in other words 7.5 cm then 5 cm then 2.5 cm then what is the fundus if this is fallopian tube of one side or uterine tube and this side also you will get the fallopian tube of this side so if you join the two openings of fallopian tube of both sides the part above this line joining the two uterine tubes is the fundus it is solid and covered by peritoneum on all sides and below that is the body this one is the body and inside body you will get the cavity called the uterine cavity and here is the constriction here can you see this is one constriction it is called the isthmus inside this level of isthmus you will get one orifice called internal os below that this is the cervix total length of cervix about 2.5 cm or 1 inch and here is another opening is there this is called the external os so inside at the, at the level of the isthmus inside is the internal os and this one is the external os in between internal os and external os is the cervix and here you see the cervix this os it is circular that means it is nulliparous uterus no childbirth in this uterus if you see this uterus and if you see the external loss in this specimen here this is not circular this is external loss something is here but you forget this one this os is the external loss it is not circular like that of this external loss in this specimen just to compare the external loss here it is circular and here it is a transverse slit this one then what is this space called and what is this wall this is the vaginal wall or vagina this one here this vaginal wall is absent so vaginal wall starts from here go downwards like this all around the cervix if vaginal is attached here now the cervix is having two parts supravaginal part and intravaginal part and both the parts are having same length so 1.25 cm supravaginal 1.25 cm intravaginal or in simply vaginal part so here is the vaginal attachment around the cervix in this specimen you can see this one this is the vaginal attachment my finger or this forcep is, is obstructing here that means here is the attachment of the vaginal wall on the cervix and the space around this is called the fornix this one is the fornix if it is anterior side it is anterior fornix and posteriorly it is posterior fornix and two lateral side or lateral space called lateral fornix but all the fornix are continuous anterior right lateral posterior and left lateral so all around the intravaginal part of cervix this is intravaginal part of cervix you can see here you will get the space called the fornix now you see this is the fallopian tube of right side and this is the fallopian tube of left side total length is about 10 cm 1 3 5 1 1 means the, this one is the intrauterine part it is inside the uterine musculature or intramural part next part is the isthmus it is 3 cm this part is the most dilated part of the uterine tube called the ampulla and the fertilization takes place and zygote is formed in this most dilated part of the fallopian tube called the ampulla 
and the fourth part is called the infundibulum, it is again 1 centimeter. And this is the left sided halibut tube and in front of the attachment or this area is called the corner of the uterus at the angle of the uterus, in front and below of the attachment of this attachment of uterine tube, this is called the round ligament of uterus. The fibromuscular band, this one and the length of this round ligament is about uh, 10 to 12 centimeter, in, it passes through the inguinal canal and it is ended in the labia majora. But recently as per 41st edition of Gray's, it uh, tells that after just passing out through the superficial lingual link, it is ended, not it is ended in the labia majora. And another ligament attached posterior inferior to the fallopian tube, I am showing you this one, extending from the uterus below and behind the attachment of the fallopian tube, this is called the ligament of ovary and this is ovary. And this ligament of ovary and the round ligament uterus both are true ligaments because both are the fiber muscular band and derived from the governaculum. So, you will get the structure on both sides. So, this is the round ligament of left side and ligament of ovary of left side. So, so if you are asked what the structures attached to the angle of the uterus or corner of the uterus, your answer will be the fallopian tube below and in front round ligament below and behind ligament of ovary. Now you know which is the anterior surface or anterior sur part and posterior part. Now you have to hold the specimen in this way because here is the cervix, here is the body. So, there is angulation here. This is angulation called the anti flexion which is about 125 degree. But here is the vagina. So, here in the vagina and the cervix, if it is a vaginal direction, so they will form another angle called antiversion between the long axis of the surface and long axis of the vaginal wall. So, this is antiversion, this is antiflexion. So, it does its position, it is antiverted and antiflexed. So, you have to hold the specimen in this way. And if I take this specimen where you will get the vaginal wall to some extent and this is fallopian tube within this broad ligament, this is broad ligament, this is fallopian tube here and round ligament you will get in front of it that means this is round ligament and this is fallopian tube and this is ligament of ovary posteriorly. So, this is the antiversion, antiflexion and here the vagina will be in front and going forward forming a 90 degree angle with the cervix. So, this is the angle position of this specimen.